can I get through here? Oh, that was. <laughs> I think I think we scraped a little bit of paint on that one. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming. Uh, we got our lettuce all loaded up. It is May the 3rd. And Johnson's Farmer's Market has the best price on lettuce this time around, so that's where we're headed. And then the bakery's got the best price on eggs. And we do have a little bit of honey, too. I don't know if it's worth selling yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last, <clears throat> last time I checked, it wasn't a full pallet yet, so... Uh, but I'm very low on money at the moment. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see I only have $2,295. And we need to buy fertilizer, liquid fertilizer for the greenhouses. So, yeah, we're, uh, things are a little bit tight, but that'll change. Um, when we get into June, we'll probably get some nice contracts. And, uh, you know, the thing that's a little bit different this year from last year is, you know, as soon as I harvested my crops, I'd, I sold them. Well, the hay anyways. So, you know, we always had a little income. Uh, but now that we're waiting until January for that, we're a little bit more reliant upon contracts and, you know, selling our produce every month. But, you know, it's enough to, to keep us going. We, we made some really big purchases recently, so we didn't even quite clear 9000 this time. Yeah, but the, that's to be expected, though. The price is uh, not the best time of year to be selling. So, yeah, it is what it is. So let's go back, grab our pallet of eggs. I'm going to check the honey again. I don't think I looked at it today. I looked at it yesterday on May the 2nd. And uh, if it is a full pallet, we might as well grab that and sell it as well. There are um, a couple of interesting things for sale in the used uh, equipment section, but we can't afford it. So it's almost a moot point. And there are no contracts. Well, there's like one stupid little weeding contract that keeps popping up, but that isn't, that's not worth our time. So, all right, let's go get those eggs sold and then we'll see what's happening next. No, not quite a full pallet of honey yet. All right, well, let's just let that uh, continue on then. And we'll head over to the bakery to sell these eggs. I have to, I have to decide if it's actually worth it to keep that corn. In fact, I was gonna look at this. Uh, here's what's for sale. Oh, this is new. What is this? This is a planter. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is new too. This is a a crone trailer for fifty three thousand dollars, but it's and it stores fifty two thousand liters. Wow, that's a nice trailer. Uh, and then we also have a Fent three hundred Vario for sale. Thir 113 to 142. Yeah, I think that's probably a small tractor. We don't really need that. This would be nice to have, but just, yeah, it's it's a bit outside of our, our means right at the moment. Pretty nice, though. Pretty nice. Okay, let's go get these eggs sold. Oh, I was going to double check, make sure that Baker still has the best prices because they do seem to change more frequently than top of the hour bakery's 12.52 yeah bakery's still the best place to sell Oh, hey, look. There's a uh, collectible. Very nice. All right. This is an extra thousand bucks. We'll take it. And we got $1,753 from selling the eggs. Very good. 
You know, I got to thinking about something, too, regarding the collectibles. There's a ladder that goes up on the roof of my old house. This is now Mama Joe's son's house. But let's just climb up there really quick, because usually where there's ladders going up on buildings, there's a collectible somewhere, and I don't, I don't know if I ever actually went up here or not. Yeah, look at that right there. Awesome. Very nice. Okay, so now that's a, an extra $2,000 for us. Fantastic. Oh, excuse me, lady. All right. Nice. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is we got to get some fertilizer in our greenhouses. Um, one of them is very, very low. Another one's low, and then the other one's still not in too bad a shape. I mean, ideally, I'd like to... I like to fill them all up, but I don't think we can afford to do that at this point just because our money's a little bit tight. So let's park our pickup truck in the driveway here. And we'll look at... Oh, actually, we need the pickup truck to pull the, trink, uh, the tanker out. But let's look at these. Uh, let's look at the chickens, too. Uh, let's see. Chickens. So you are four months old. So when they hit six months, then they should be able to start doing eggs. You know, you're, they're a little bit low on grain, too. We should probably give them some more grain. Oh, we were going to look at the greenhouses. Okay, so this greenhouse is good. This one's getting low, but it's not really bad. Uh, but this one is just about out. So we need to get at least one thing of fertilizer for that one greenhouse. And maybe what we'll do is we'll put two thirds of it in that one and then another third in the other one to kind of even stuff out. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Close the door. So, I think this one's, yeah, that one only has, that has 430 liters of fertilizer. That has 915 on oh, 81. Okay, so this one's the one that's really low. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, call up the store, and we're going to order one pallet of liquid fert. And we're also going to... Order two more bags of wheat for the chickens. Because uh, that's not quite as expensive as the fertilizer. And that leaves us uh, with $8,8800. Okay, let's do the, uh, the chicken feed first. Can't, uh, can't really see very well in first person. It's cool and everything. It's immersive, but it's very difficult to see stuff. It's not like real life first person, you know. Oh, just a little bit there, I guess. There we go. I wish I could just carry the pallet over to the you know, the greenhouses and have it go right in instead of having to put it inside the tanker, but that's not the way it works, I guess. Okay, while that's happening let's go back to the store for a minute and corn headers so the cheapest corn header and we and we only need the small one because we have a very small field all right you know what that's not so bad 
It's only going to cost 900 bucks to lease. It's a Ziegler. Um, I have no idea how much we'll court or we'll make off that corn, but we have all the other equipment. I'll, I'm probably just going to sell it. Well, when does corn, 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 where's the corn? Here's the corn. So we'd, if we wanted to get the best price, we'd have to hold on to it till December. When does it have to be harvested? Oh, see, that works pretty good because we can harvest it right at the very end of November and probably just keep it in the combine and roll over to December and sell it. So that'll work quite well. So really the only expense we're going to have uh, for the corn is the $900 lease for the corn header. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll make more than 900 bucks off that field. I don't, I don't know that we'll make a ton more, but at least we won't lose money. Um, so that way, you know, we don't need to, um, we don't need to plow it under like we did with the cotton. The cotton was just not going to work because it was going to cost more money to get the equipment to harvest it than it would have brought in. But I think we'll be okay with the corn. The condola, we have everything we need except for storage. But I think what we'll do with that is, uh, what is the canola? So we have to harvest the canola at the end of August and the best time to sell it is November. So we could probably just store it at the train station between um, August and November. And uh, that shouldn't cost a ton of money. So uh, we're not, we're not going to make big money off of either one of those crops, but I don't think we'll be upside down with either one of them either. We'll, we'll make a little tiny bit of profit. And then after that, I'm just going to plow those fields under and, and add more of the peripheral to them like I've done already and, and plant hay. It just seems to make the most sense to, to do the hay. Okay. I still have yet to have to charge my forklift. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, if you look in here, our uh, Rosselmosh cultivator is really in bad shape. And it's, it costs us $10,000 to fix that sucker, but I need to remember to do that uh, before we start taking cultivating contracts. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're going to have to pull the the tanker around to put that fertilizer in it. Let's do that now. Such a nice tank. <laughs> Only filled it up 6%. Okay, so we want to put, uh, we want to put about 12 to 1300 liters in here. And then I want to put the rest in the other one. Oh, wow, that went in fast. Goodness gracious. Okay. Didn't think it was going to go in that fast. Oh, we got another pallet of lettuce there. Huh. Yeah, that unloaded super fast. Okay, now let's take a look at, okay, so you're at 915 liters, you're at 889, and you're at 1622. Okay, so that, uh, that should hold us in pretty good stead for a while. Let's go ahead and put some water in next. 
pull up to our handy dandy well here and load her up. I don't know if I should fill this thing all the way up. But well, yeah, let's just do it. Seventy-six percent max because of the weight limitation. Yeah, the truck's uh, feeling the weight. That's for sure. Full. Perfect. Okay. So all three of the greenhouses are completely full of water. I'm not going to put more water in this though because um, what we'll have to do next time is empty the rest of the water out before we can put more fertilizer in here. Do I have an option to unload? offload this water. Usually I think it's the I key, but front loader tool. What? Yeah, I don't know, maybe I can't, but most likely we'll be able to get all the rest of the water that's in here in the greenhouses before we have to put more fertilizer in. So we do have to kind of uh, be mindful of that. That's pretty good. Oh, that's right. We do this one automatically. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape now uh, in the greenhouses. Uh, we got full water and everything. And we have, these two are probably still good for, you know, I'd say for probably maybe another month or so. And this one's good for probably another two months. And by that time, we, we should have uh, quite a bit more money from contracts, doing contracts. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time to pass the time and get into June and see what pops up for us contract wise. So I will see you tomorrow on June the 1st. All right, guys, it is June the 1st and we have taken a couple of contracts. Let's look at those first. Uh, so I have three harvesting contracts. They're all three barley. And uh, if I if I get a little, can get a little bit of extra at the end of them, then I'm going to keep it rather than sell it like I normally would and put that in the chicken uh, silo. And then we took one cultivating contract. And that one I decided to take their equipment only because my cultivator is um, pretty badly damaged and I don't even have enough money to repair it. So I figured we'll just... I'll just use their cultivator uh, to do that field contract. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with the contracts. And um, I don't think there's really a whole lot else to update you guys on. So, yeah, let's go get, uh, let's do the harvesting first. I'll probably just do the cultivating by myself later off camera. Um, but let's do the harvesting contracts now. Uh, they're, like I said, they're barley contracts. And even though technically I have wheat in the silo right now the game doesn't specifically say that it's wheat it just says that it's grain so hopefully i can add you know any extra barley that we get uh to what's in there now um we were also looking at this stuff here look there's <laughs> there's my truck right there uh Oh, this is a really nice front loader. I've got this on the multiplayer server. That's just a small tractor. That's a large cultivator. In fact, that looks like the same exact one that we're, we currently have. 
And then that small tractor. <clears throat> okay. I really would have liked to have gotten that Kloss trailer, but we just, you know, bottom line is we just can't afford it right now. Not without taking out more loans, which I do not want to do. Um, I'm not saying I'll never do that, but I don't want to do it unless it really, really makes sense to do. Uh, the tractor that they gave us to do the cultivated is the same series as ours. It's a T7, but this is a 275, uh, and ours is um, a 3-something, so we got the higher horsepower version. So that's the interesting, but I, since we borrowed this equipment, we might as well just use it and save the wear and tear on our own stuff. Okay, I have no storage trailer solution. So the idea is to fill up the combine with the barley and then, you know, drive it to the drop-off point and hopefully we can uh this, you know, as soon as the contract's finished, you know, stop it from dropping any more in so that we can bring the rest of it home. Okay, so let's hunt head on out here where is or where are these rather so 20 51 and 65 so 20 is going to be up north of us and these two are going to be south and a little closer together so let's go to 20 first uh yeah okay so we'll bring this up here Right, 20 is that little dinky field way up there. Okay. I don't even know if we'll if we'll get any barley from that uh, to take home. Uh, so let, let's head up there and this is going to it's going to take a little while too just because I have to drive the actual combine up there and it goes 12 <laughs> 12 miles an hour um, at top speed. So this is going to take a little while. This is going to take a little... You know what I should probably do now that I think about it? I should get a worker started on the cultivating. I mean, we're not going to make a ton of money off of it anyway. And, um... Yeah, I, I, let's just do that to save some time, I think. Well, no, never mind. Never mind. I'll just do it myself. Um, because, here again, I, I don't want to pay a worker right now. We just don't have very much money. All right, well, let's uh, head on up to field 20 then. Um, how, what's the best way to get over there? I think I could probably cut through back behind Mama Joe's here. This could be a problem. I don't think I can clear that fence, or can I? Nope. All right. How do we? How are we gonna get in there? <laughs> I need a header trailer. Um. Probably am not gonna be able to go through the trees. Okay. So. Let's see. Could we maybe cut through here? doesn't really help me see much better. There we go. All right. Well, since we're at the edge of the field, I guess we might as well start right here. That's folded. Why is that not starting? We have it selected. Let's look at the help menu. Turn on harvester. Oh, I bet you we don't have the lines all the way hooked up.
Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. There's no no point in straw swathing because I can't come back and pick it up anyway. At least I don't think I can. I tried that once and it didn't seem to work. going sideways because we're on a bit of a slant here. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay straight here or not, it's probably going to pull me down. We'll do the best we can. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this header is actually too big for this harvester. Uh, but I got a really good deal on it. So, we'll just make it work. It is kind of going at an angle, but it seems to be staying relatively lined up in spite of that. I hope the other fields are aren't too too much on a hill. If they are, we'll have to just uh, go on the downhill side to make it work. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tool is filled. Okay, so where do we have to take this grain? That goes to the grain mill, which is not too far from here. They all go to the grain mill. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should... How full is the harvester? It's 37%. We could probably also do 65, but I don't think we're going to be able to do 65 and 51 and get it all in the harvester. That's a lot of driving back and forth, man. Uh, well, I don't really have a whole lot of other choice, I think. Let's see if we can get out over here on this road. I think to be on the safe side, we probably better just take this load up too, because it's just a, we have to drive all the way south and then come all the way back up here and then go all the way south again for the third field and come all the way back up here again. And I wouldn't like it if we did that happened and we discovered. Oh, is this not even a road? What are we getting into here? Oops, I'm stuck. This is a trail. Oh, is this part of the the cave place we were at before? Let's look. Yeah, that is. Okay, that goes up to the caves. So we're going to have to see if we can scooch out again through the woods, I guess. Unless we could get out maybe through here, but that... That almost looks like a trail, too. It's pretty... Seems pretty narrow. Let's go scout it before we drive over there. Yeah, that's a trail, too. All right, yeah, we're just going to have to go back out through the woods. I can't get through those gates. All right. Unless there was some way I could maybe angle it out.
Oh, there we go. All right. We kind of <laughs> we kind of scraped the bottom of it a little bit, but we got the job done. Okay, so we have to go up to here. I th I think actually. Let's see. We just finished twenty. Liver barley to the grain mill. Right. How come it's not showing us the? Oh, it's because I don't have it turned on. Okay. There we go. Yep, that's it. So the best route to get up there is probably going to be to go down around this way. Well, you know what though? I don't. We can't get through that bridge. We could probably just drive through the creek though. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Oh, here comes cart. <laughs> All right. So we want to stop this as soon as the contract completes. Am I not over it right? Watch the thing. Fifty one per cent transporter for field sixty five. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're gonna get any of this actually. Yeah, that's it. Uh how is that? 79%. Oh, you know why? Because it's applying it to the bigger field. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, where's 65 six, down here? It applied it to that field. We have to do 51 and 65. So it looks like we're not going to be able to complete the contracts until we get the grain from all the other the other fields, too. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of running around, isn't it? Um, how much would it cost to lease the cheapest trailer available? Which is that guy holds one point that holds sixteen hundred, which isn't very much at all. Um, what's the lease cost on this? Can that even hold grain? Oh yeah, it can. Make that into a cute little bale trailer. Look at that. This would cost us $178 to lease, but we're talking probably multiple trips. This would cost us $663 to lease. Yeah, I, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's just honestly, if I had had to make a trip down there and a trip back and another trip down there and a trip back, that's just going to take so incredibly long. So we're going to do it. We are going to do it. We lose a little money, but it just, it makes sense to do it that way. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys down at the other fields. Uh, what I might do is stop off at our, our place first and get the trailer hooked up probably to our pickup truck and then have a worker drive it down to the field to meet uh can i get through here oh that was <laughs> i think i think we scraped a little bit of paint on that one. Oh my goodness okay yeah so i'll see you guys back at the house and then we'll go from there 
Okay, we're gonna just uh, park the combine right here. And let's hop out and get a worker and the trailer down to our field. You can't have the worker transport the combine with the header on that doesn't work. I tried it before. We're spo what we're supposed to be doing is putting it on a header trailer, but I don't have one. And at the moment, I can't really afford to do that, <laughs> even if I did. That didn't make sense, even if I did. If I had one, I'd use it, but I don't. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't hook the lines up with this truck. Yeah, I don't know, because it's, it's a modded truck, so whatever. We'll just have to pretend like they are hooked up. Coming? Yeah, something's coming. Okay, so let's go into here and we want you let's let's just get sixty-five knocked out first. So great job. We just want you to go to sixty-five. And you can park right there. Target's unreachable? Are you kidding me? Why is that target unreachable? All you have to do is go down this road and then go over here. Hmm. All right, what if we... Great job. Go to what if we have you park right here? There he goes. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys down at the field in 10 years from now. It's going to take that long to get there. Uh, this might be a problem. Is this going to be a problem? I think this is going to be a problem. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to go cross country. I wonder how much a header trailer would cost for this. Not that I'm going to buy one right now. We have, I think we have this case right here, combination. So it'd be five fifty five hundred bucks to buy the header trailer for that. I mean, it's not very expensive. We should maybe consider doing that, but I just I can't afford to do that right now. Not gonna happen. So we'll go cross country. All right, guys, we're at the field. It looks like our worker parked right in the middle of the road there. <laughs> it's not his fault. He parked right where I told him to. I guess, anyway. So, yeah, I had a little bit of trouble getting over here from another bridge, so I had to cut across another creek and fields, but we finally did it. But, yeah, I think, um, I think we probably better invest in a header trailer when we can afford to, to do so. So, okay, let's get this unfolded and get you on and down and ready to go. Let's do this. Whoops! <laughs> Who put that sign there?
Okay, let's um, open the cover. Look at that barley. Okay, now we're going to see if the AI can actually deliver this without screwing it up. So, let's hop out of here. So we can we can have the AI deliver the this. Well, yeah, you guys saw me doing that when we did the sugar beets several episodes ago. So, um just as long as they don't, you know, get hung up on anything. So what we want to do is go here, grab the pickup truck, create job. We want you to deliver, or no, not load and deliver. We want you to deliver. Yeah, load and deliver, sorry. Excuse me, my goodness. No, just deliver, but we want you to loop. Right, okay. And so we want you to deliver to the grain mill. Yep, that's the grain mill. Okay, it's pulsating red. And then we want your loading position to be back at field 51, where we're going to be doing our thing. Um, and why don't you just park? right here you gonna go all right let's see what if he can get it done so all the grain in that trailer is still gonna be needed for the the contract so so it's the grain in the in the big field that we should be able to keep a little bit of uh, right at the end now i gotta figure out if i can get over there <laughs> i can't uh where are we at okay so we're down south here uh we got to get up to here yeah that's actually not too far from our house uh but i couldn't get over this bridge or no not that bridge wait where was that bridge there oh it doesn't show it on the map but there's a bridge here that i couldn't get over but we should be able to just come back along and maybe follow up the side of the creek to here and maybe cross over here to get over that way. So, yeah, I think that's the that's the route we'll take. All right, I'll see you guys up there. Okay, we have made it to the field. Uh, we didn't have any trouble getting over here. We just kind of went the cross-country route. Um, so where's our guy at? He is, oh, let's go here. Okay, so it looks like he just finished unloading and he's gonna work his way back here. Fantastic. All right, let's start working on this field here. We will, of course, deliver the, the last, the final load of greens. Because if I send the worker to do that, he'll, he's just going to give it all to him. So
looks like it's going to take uh, at least two loads, maybe even more. So I'm going to... <clears throat> I think I'll have the worker do the harvesting for a bit. That's a pretty simple job for them to do. And I'll go uh, drop off the stuff. Okay, so I don't, I'm guessing it's probably going to take this full trailer, but let's, let's just monitor it a little bit more closely because I want to keep as much grain as I can. So we are doing 51 now. Uh, 65 is complete. So I don't think we need to, can't think of any reason why we need to wait to collect from that. So let's do that now. And then let's see. So <clears throat> 20 is 80% and 51 is 86%. Okay, so let's start offloading here. But I'm going to stop it at about halfway and then just see what where we are. Okay. So 69 for 51. What does it say about 20? Still 80, so that's not even registering right now. Okay. It says 51 is 92% complete now. So let's take it down to about 20%. <clears throat> So that's still at 80% and that one is at 96%. Okay. Yeah, it's going to it's definitely going to take the rest of this and then probably some more too. So that's still at 80. This is at 98. All right. Let's go back and get another load. And this was nine, about 90% full or so, I think. All right. I'm going to take the combine back and then I'll meet you guys up at the mill for the final final results here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started and like we did before, we'll kind of stop part way through and see where we're at. Okay, so 51 is done, 14% for 20, 60% for 20, finished. Okay, so that gives us 2,512 liters of barley that we can keep. It's not going to fill up the silo, but hey, it's something, right? I'm not going to bother selling it, we're not, I'd rather just give it to the chickens. We're not going to make um, that much money off of it otherwise. Okay, yeah, so let's go take this and put it in our chicken silo and just see how much that fills it up. All right, you stupid trailer, you're going the wrong way. Um, that's not 
not the way it's supposed to work. All right. Um, I know it's possible to back these up. I'm just not very good at it. Okay, so flip it around this way, straighten it up a little more. Try and get the tongue that way. Okay, now straighten it out. Want the tongue to go the other way. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that's close, but I don't think we're quite where we need to be. So let's pull it out like this. Okay, now here we go again. We want to push it. Uh, no, we want to push it this way. And then start taking it back this way. And then it kind of starts to do the little jackknife thing. Okay, so let's straighten it out. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Go that way. Now straighten out the truck. It's almost like... It's almost like you're backing up the dolly more than the trailer, you know? Okay, we're getting there. All right. Let's see how much this uh, gives us. We currently have 2,000 liters, 3,000 liters, 4,500 liters. Okay. So that filled it up about halfway. Uh, uh, you know, well, we already had 2,000 in there, but. I think that's the most we've grain we've had in there so far <laughs> uh, since we've had our chickens. So nice. And these uh, these ones will start making eggs next month. So that's good too. It'll, it'll start bringing us in some more money. Excellent. Okay. So uh, we are finished with the harvesting contracts. Uh, we just have this one cultivating contract, and then that's pretty much all we have left to do today. Uh, aside from washing things up and parking them and putting them away. Uh, let's go in here and turn in those harvest contracts. We didn't really make a ton of money off of these, but I like to do the harvest contracts. They're fun. A and B, we got, you know, we got that green, so there is all that. So let's see here. I guess we're done with this trailer, too, so we might as well turn that in. It wasn't too terribly expensive to rent that, so not too bad. And then, yeah, I'm going to hook up the cultivator, head out to the field, which I think is not too far from here. It's just kind of across the way there, and get started on that. We need to, we need to wash our truck and fix the paint on it, too. That's so... That's such crap, man. <laughs> that that paint wears out that quickly. It's just not even going to happen at all in real life like that. Oh, well, whatever. The cultivator here almost matches the tractor. Okay, my friends. Well, I think it's time to wrap up this episode. It wasn't the most profitable, uh, you know, uh, episode that we've had so far. But, you know, we we bought two fields and we bought um, and the and we bought the biggest beehive. And that's where most of our money went to. Uh, plus, we spent money on, you know, some landscaping and stuff like that, too. Uh, the house and the shed we basically paid for by selling our other house but uh anyway the money will come uh, we are I, I feel good about things you know i think we're moving in the right direction and uh, i'm not really too concerned about it it's just gonna take a take a little bit longer 
before it all comes in again but you know we're gonna have a nice juicy silage um, payout right in in January when that time comes and I'm expecting that alone to be six figures not counting anything else that we got going on so should be good uh, but anyway yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go here let's see what is it is June 1st so I'll probably sleep through the rest of June I might bring you back on the third uh, just to show you the produce sales and then um, we'll go on into July and find out you know what the next thing is for us so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye